The two captains, Connor McDavid and Blake Wheeler, set to square off. It's the Oilers, the Jets, the rubber match of this season series. McDavid between Yamamoto and Zach Hyman to start. Connor won a battle. Oh, and then Shifley tried to feed Morrissey, and he broke his stick trying to one-time it because it was right into his hands. And Drysaddle will lug the puck back to center. Hit for Liddy, he's open, shoots and denied! What a save by Connor Hellebuck! Barry, Nugent, Hopkins, and Hyman round out the power play quintet for the Edmonton Oilers. Drysaddle a little behind McDavid, but he finds. Dishes to Barry. Nugent Hopkins back to Barry. Gets it back from McDavid. What timer score! And Tyson Barry is off the schneid. His first goal since November the 20th. One nothing Edmonton. The one timer that I like here. You set it in motion. Right off the bat, it was a great play by Nugent Hopkins under pressure to get it to Dry It gets it over to McDavid. Just misses him. But once you set this up, you have to tee it up. Look at the screen in front he got by it. Hyman. He definitely gets a piece of it. And the Oilers, who had been just one for their last 21 on the road with a man advantage, strike first. Lagason, CC shot, and that might have glistened off the crossbar and sail out of play. And for Zach Hyman, it translated into nearly 22 minutes the other night. Here he breaks it with McDavid. Snap the shot on that. The save made by Hellebuck. The look off, and again, I don't mind it. I'm not sure a passing lane was there. And here comes Ryan McLeod out of the back. Kane busting toward the net with Bouchard. A center and pass tip to the save. Hellebuck on Kane. He's hard in the corners. He, he wins a lot of battles, and I, I think that rubs off again, too. When a goal scorer, you watch Zach Hyman play the game the way he plays the game. He's having success because of that effort and energy he brings. Quick steal by Lowry in the centering pass. A block shot. Down low for Zach Hyman. Held by Stanley. Released that shoulder to get away with it. Now you've got Hyman circling. Centering. Yamamoto tonight on the doorstep. What a save by Connor Hellebach. David. After an excellent backtrack by him all the way to the defensive blue line. Harkins a shot. That went off the right shoulder of Koskinen. DeMello. Jousted free, but Wheeler on rushing. Stasty. Wrist shot saved. Koskinen came way out to cut off the angle. Here's Stasty to the net. Wheeler a shot, and he missed. Rebound climbed up on the boards, and now McDavid and Yamamoto are away. Play is onside. Drop pass Yamamoto. Backhander tonight. Rebound score. Flipped home. His own rebound. Kyler Yamamoto extends to a 2-0 lead. But in the defensive zone, watch the stick by McDavid that sets it all in motion. you got to get saves. And Winnipeg really pushes this little play right there. You can see Dylan pinches down because it gets by him. Then stick by McDavid. Eyes in the back of his head. He finds Yamamoto. He misses the first one that saves. Stays with it and elevates the second one up over top of Hellebuck. Has to put the Jets on. Shifley was right on him all the way back into the zone. He still has the wear. In a four-on-four, four, it's Peon jumping up. He was stripped by Drysaddle. Skates into it at center. Hesitation move on Schmidt. Then through it. Backdoor score! What a feed! Dry saddle to McDavid! Hellebuck, no chance! Helpless! And Edmonton's up three rip! He is the best passer on the backhand side in the National Hockey League. I mean, he's got eyes in the back of his head, but this is a laser, and he just snaps this over to McDavid. Waits, buys his time. Nobody really pressures him. He takes the outside. Watch this. Four Jets all oh. looking around right on the tape. Thanks for coming out, and it's off the stick in a hurry from Connor McDavid. Zip right there into the back of the net for Hellebuck. Nugent Hopkins looking to clear. I think Nate Schmidt ate that one. Over to Stanley, his shot. And that dropped at the feet of Miko Koskinen. Nugent Hopkins, slippery. Off the wall to Barry. McDavid, a shot, a save. Trying to catch Hellebuck napping. I believe he's just going to continue to play at that caliber. Lead pass, Morrissey sets up Wheeler, back to Morrissey! And the shot was stopped first by Barry, and then rolled into the gear of Miko Koskinen. Try to just get it to the net quickly, get Koskinen off balance, and he was there. He was diving across, trying to make that save. DeMello got it back, and here's Morrissey advancing through again. Just what you were talking about, Louis, not getting it deep enough, but a one-timer stopped 
off the stick of Kyle Connor by Miko Koskin and his best save of the third. Managed to get to Leon Dreisaitl, hovering, dishing, McDavid back door, rich shot, and a save, Hellebuck on Nugent Hopkins. Trying to power through his peons, but he could not get it out of the zone. Quick dish to Dreisaitl, back in front, Nugent Hopkins fires, and a save, Hellebuck, who continues to keep the Jets in it. And now a breakaway shorthanded, Dylan, unable to beat Miko Koskin and flash the right pad. Stripped by Warren Fogle, three on two, Edmonton the other way. Across to Nurse, who activates down low. Back can't save, rebound, and Fogel missed by millimeters all the while sitting back door, Louis. That was wide open. I think it was Evander Kane who was standing there waiting for that pass. Now Kane tries to hold the zone. Tony Nato clears down the middle. Another partial break. Here's Lowry, backhander, five hole scores. And that's his first goal while playing for his dad, the interim coach, Dave Lowry. You know, listen, they created chances early on, got a little bit careless, allowed two breakaways shorthanded. You never want to see that in a penalty killing situation. I'm sorry, in a power play situation. Ryan Nugent Hopkins and Fogel on. Here's Kyle Connor for the Jets across the line. A shot and a glove save. Koskinen makes it look easy on Christian Veselainen. Here's Wheeler. Connor. Morrissey gets it back from Shifley and then gives it right back to him. Shifley down low to Blake Wheeler. Centering pass out to Morrissey. One timer. Connor score. And the Jets have pulled within three to two. His 29th. Gets a big piece of it, but it finds its way in. Similar to the McDavid goal, the 3 0 goal from the same position, the one timer coming across. It goes off the body, finds its way in the net. For Kyle Connor, he was sniffing early in the game, went quiet for a while, but this is all it takes. Give him one chance, and he's going to put it in the back of the net. And that's exactly what he does. 15 seconds to go. Oilers trying to hang on. Down the stretch in Winnipeg. It's Stasty. Down low and eludes the ball. Darnell Nurse can skate out the remaining time. And he clears into an empty net. Oilers will preserve a 4-2 victory. Darnell Nurse seals it with his six. He wins a battle in the corner, and then Darnell Nurse just pounces on a puck, good pressure, puts it directly in the middle of the net to close this one up. McLeod wins the last faceoff, and while Edmonton may have made it more interesting than it would have preferred, nevertheless, it's a 5-0 start for Jay Woodcroft. It's a 10-2-1 run for the Oilers.